And that actually will lead us also to a study, you know, the Greek philosophy and logic. No doubt when the Greek logic and philosophy came to Islam, it influenced so many people. But from the very beginning also, there have been people who have been very much critical of Greek logic and philosophy. And they used to think really, you know, many of those arguments in Greek logic and philosophy, they don't make sense. So they used to criticize and, and make argument against that. One of these things written against uh, uh, Greek philosophy is uh, the, the famous work of Imam, uh, Imam Ghazali rahmanullah ta'ala, Tahafatul Falasifa, in coherence of philosophy, in coherence of philosophers, where he criticized the philosophy in about in 20 issues and you know, makes a very good uh, critical of philosopher. And there are a few issues about which he said if anybody believes in them, you know, he's no more a believer. And he actually uh, uh, accuses the Messina and some Muslim philosophers because these people, they believe in these things, so that's why they are no more believers. So we are going, inshallah, to study the half to philosophy properly, understanding the methodology of Imam Ghazali and how successful Imam Ghazali has been in criticizing the philosophy and also criticizing the Muslim philosophers or Greek philosophers. And then also I'll spend some time to, uh, to, uh, to introduce you to you uh, the criticism that has been done by Rushd against the book of Imam Ghazali. That how in Rushd, a great philosopher, when he received the book of Ghazali, how he found the treaty again actually incoherent. Then he wrote his book, Tahafut Tahafut, incoherence of the incoherence. So that also will be there.